Hey everybody, Coach Troy here. Now back in the 80s, Pac-Man was king of the arcades. People dumped thousands and thousands of quarters into those arcade machines in hopes of hitting that high score list. Alright, Pac-Man was so huge, there was a hit song about it, there was a TV show. I believe Pac-Man was actually the very first named character in a video game. Alright, so he's got that mantle to hold on to. And of course, if it's popular in the arcade, they're going to put it on the systems. So, every system had versions of Pac-Man. There's the infamous Atari one. Eh. Um, Nintendo, Coleco, and Television, they all had versions of Pac-Man. In fact, there are still versions being made today on current systems, different ways to play Pac-Man. Um, Miss Pac-Man, Pac-Man Jr., Pac-N-Pal. It goes on and on and on. But I'm going to tell you a little dirty secret about myself. I don't really like Pac-Man that much. <coughs> Despite my shame, I still like many different maze games. Um, now, of course, with Pac-Man being so popular, there's going to be knockoffs and knockoffs and knockoffs. In fact, I believe there was one big lawsuit they had with uh, Casey Munchkin. Now, that was the only one I think they took to court and actually made it so they had to stop selling those games. But, outside of that, there were so, so, so many uh, different styles of maze games that had their own spins. So today we're going to look at three that I got for the ColecoVision, see if I like them better than Pac-Man. Alright, we're going to have Mousetrap, Pepper 2, and Ladybug. And here we go, our ColecoVision. Testing out Ladybug. Now... You always pick your skill level, one or two players. I'll start with a skill level of one. Alright, so here's another one of those maze games. I'll be moving around, pretty much eating dots, right? Now those are not quite dots, they look like little X's. So very similar to Pac-Man in that way. Don't think I want to eat that little skull next to me, I'm guessing that's going to kill me. All right, and I see the gimmick here in this one. I get to move these little sliding, these spinning doors here, revolving doors, and that is gonna allow me to block out these bugs, whatever they are, and help give me safe passage. Oh, snap, if they go and they eat the, if I can trick them into eating the, the skulls themselves, they die. Well, that's nice to know. Ah, no. Go quick! Oh, that was way too close. All right. Oh, there's gonna be eggplants that are worth money. All right. Okay, I see the uh, tracker on the bottom or on the on the border there. As that goes all the way around, it releases one of the bugs. That's another neat part of it. It's a little different, so you don't just get all of them at once. Ah. This game controls pretty smooth, my little ladybug there. At first it looked thought it was like a little helicopter thing. That's antenna. In front of me, I thought it was propeller. Haha. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh no! Ah, run away! Okay. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, eggplant. Oh, and it freezes everybody on screen. That's handy. Alright, about to beat another level. I am. Ladybug Champion. Ah! Well, it's a risky take, right? Good game, good game. So that was Ladybug. Yeah, I did like that better than Pac-Man. I liked the gimmick of the sliding doors. Um, it was alright. It wasn't that much better, but it was still a solid game. It looked great. The sound was good. So yeah, like Pac- or like, like Ladybug, I'm gonna give that one a thumbs up. Next up, though, we're gonna try... Mousetrap. We're definitely going to start at one because, well... Alright, and here we go. Moving around the maze. Surrounded by cats. I'm actually going to turn down this volume a little bit. Alright. Huh? Can't... Ah! <laughs> now I didn't open it in time. See? See, here's the gimmick to this game, or one of them, there's a couple. By hitting the button here, I can open 
Woohoo! Can open these trap doors. That is going to make it, you know, hopefully easier for me to evade all these cats. Now that I'm by some, I'm going to hit that middle button there and see I turn into a dog. And as a dog, I of course get to eat the cats. Oh no, no good. Alright, level one complete. I'll take that extra 10,000. Alright. Level two. Looks like they are moving around just a little bit more. Ha! Huh? Get you stuck there. That's a piece of cheese is what that is. Okay. Definitely better graphics than the Atari, but you know, still not exactly perfect. Ah, oh, move it, stupid cats. Ah, oh, what am I doing? Just turn into a dog. Excellent. Oh, at 40,000, I believe I get an extra mouse. Is that true? Oh, thank God the music changed. That other music was driving me nuts. Oh. Wrong button. Meant to turn into a dog. That's a trick with this controller. It's a little tough. And tragically, I died. I did like this one too. I think I liked it a little bit better than Ladybug. Um, even though it was difficult for me to use because hitting those those right switches, um, yeah, it was difficult. I always kept hitting the wrong ones. I don't know. It's one of those if I played it for a long time, I might get that down, might get my technique all right, get that muscle memory in. Uh, but I thought it was great. I thought it was pretty, pretty solid. I really liked um, the idea of being able to hold on to those power pellets until I needed to use them. Uh, problem is I would just... I always seem to forget before I would actually hit that button. Uh, there was that nice little layout I can put on the controller so to remind me red, uh, yellow, and blue, and that's where I get my pellets in, right in the middle there. But again, I just I kept forgetting, and I'm not looking down at the controller and off the screen. So I don't know. With a little more play, I might like it better, but I thought it was all right. Next up, we're gonna try Pepper Two. All right, Pepper 2. Definitely no Pepper 1, so... <laughs> it's so good, it's already a sequel. All right. Oh, I got a little Alfred Hitchcock Presents music to start. I like that. And it looks like I am a... little egg with a halo. Oh, I'm a good egg. I get it now. Okay. And I'm going to go through... As I step over these things, it's like I'm zipping up a zipper. And when I hit over a pitchfork, it turns woo, turns me invincible for a moment, but apparently not long enough. I like this game. This controls <laughs> So you can go to different parts of the map. There's four in total. So you don't have to finish part of the maze before you move on to the next. You can just go as where you please from piece of the map to piece of the map. And you can see on the bottom left which sections of map you have already finished. That way if you're not quite sure you can easily get it done. Little zippity doo da when you finish the section. My oh my, what a wonderful day. Get your super bonus, finishing the whole level. Alright, and are we starting over again? Just love the way this game controls, it's super smooth. I kind of like how you're not having the constant sound of goblin dots. Alright, deep into the game now. Keep going, who wants to live forever, right? Oh, that one makes everybody disappear. Oof. Oh, that's not fair, that little curve on the on the path when it's dark. That's just mean, man. There we go.
No, was... there it is. Okay. And when it gets dark, that just makes it really tough. And so I just got this last, huh? This last section. These stupid things could leave me alone. No, I moved too fast. That's all right. I got it now. Bam. Time to focus in. No more. No more playing little get kid games here. This is serious business. We're locking down. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. Ah, oh, sad. All right, it's my last guy. Gotta do some damage. Oh, I just noticed when you get the pitchfork, you get little fangs. You turn into like a little demon instead of having a little halo on your head. No! And I'm stuck between two again. Alright, game over. Good game. And wow. This game definitely was my favorite. This was super, super interesting. I like the idea of hitting those zippers as opposed to just eating all the dots in line. That was just a great, great spin on uh, the maze games there. Great, great twist of what you're doing. I like that you could attack things by you got to circle those tridents and then you can attack. You got to move. I love how there was different stages and boards you could move around if you're getting stuck. Move to another one, finish part of that, move back. All right, I like how you had to get the whole thing around before you block that out. Uh, so it was tough at first, but it got a little bit easier, but they had to watch. I don't know. I just, this game was amazing. Now, of course, there's no pepper one, right? So I, <laughs> I don't know what the deal was with naming that pepper two. But, hey, whatever. So there's no way to go back and see if, <laughs> what the prequel was, because there was none. Just straight old Pepper 2. But yeah, ranking these games, and definitely much, much better than Pac-Man. Sorry to offend anybody there, but huge, huge fan of Pepper 2. Alright, this is Coach Troy. These were my not-quite-Pac-Man maze games. Hope you enjoyed this. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks y'all for watching as I travel into the world of retro gaming. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. Or if you're interested in my other hobbies of board gaming or fitness, check out my other channel. This is Coach Troy, and I'll see y'all next time.